written and reflected so I can speak to you in a still small voice. There is a, a prayer of faith. <laughs> Come here, everybody who's sick. Prayer of faith is when you repeat back God's words right back to him. God. Anybody ever got children? If you got children, don't tell them what you're going to do before you're ready to do it. Uh -huh. Because they will worry you and get on your nerves and say, but you said we was going to Disney. Uh -huh. uh, whenever you get sick, you got to go back to your daddy and say, but you said by his stripes we are healed. But you said that this disease will not overtake my body. Give somebody a high five and say, prayer saved my life. Uh, uh, here it is. There's a prayer of agreement. That's all I need is I need a couple people to agree with me. Uh -huh. uh, agreement is when you stand with somebody and say, whatever you believe in God for, I believe in God right along with you. Then, then here, here, here's your favorite, a prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Did, did you know that when you shout hallelujah, you just prayed? Did you know that when you clapped your hands, you just gave God a prayer? It is communication between you and God. He said, remember, oh Lord, how I, I, I walked before you with a perfect heart. Come here. New Living Translation. I served you single-mindedly. Inconsistency is killing you. That's the truth. James, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Sometimes you speak. Sometimes you got an attitude. Sometimes the joy of the Lord is your strength. Next week you all in your feelings. Sometimes you tithe, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're abstinent, sometimes you're backing it up. Sometimes you're a virtuous woman, sometimes you're a promiscuous girl. I'll tell you that, sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I, you know, I'm 40 and over. That's all I'm enjoying. Amen. Uh, 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 you got to stay focused. This is your year to be committed to something. You can't bring forth fruit until you get planted. Every time it's about to be your season, you uproot yourself and then you have to replant and regrow again. Uh, I'm done. I'm in my seat. Uh, uh, thank you for bearing with me. Y'all tired of me. Uh, the last thing I see in the text is a rapid response. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says, Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, let's have church, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add unto your days. 15 years. Wait, 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 wait. I get it. You want me to shout right here because he got 15 more years, but you got to break that down to me, preacher. God, the Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You mean to tell me that this dude had enough to pray and made God change his mind? I don't believe that. You got to show me that in the text. I'm so glad you asked. Here it is. God's omniscience doesn't negate his omnipresence. Okay, what are you saying, preacher? That's a fancy way of saying, just because God knows what's going to happen, don't mean that he doesn't participate as it's happening. Okay, y'all not feeling me. I got to bring it all the way down. Uh, how many of y'all seen Boys in the Hood? Uh, you know what's going to happen when Ricky goes to the liquor store. You know the blood's going to roll up on him, and Q going to see him and say, Ricky! The first time you saw it, your emotions was in it. But after you knew what was going to happen, it didn't feel the same. God says, even though I know the outcome, I still feel it while we going through it. Uh, let me prove it to you. Let me prove text it. Uh, uh, when Abraham uh, uh, interceded on behalf of Sodom, God changed his mind multiple times. He said, if I can find uh, uh, 50 righteous people. He said, no, 45, no 30, no 20, no 10. Okay, let's have church. You tell somebody God can change his mind. Yeah. Uh, there was a Syrophoenician woman who had a daughter who was vexed with a devil. God, Jesus said, I'm not only sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But because she prayed so hard, God changed his mind and said, even the dogs can eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. The, the, God can change his mind. He, he was on his way to J. Iris' house, but there was a woman with an issue of blood who wrote her own prescription and said, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I shall be home. God, he redirected his route and changed his mind. Y'all ain't ready to have church with me. He knew Lazarus was going to die, but he still cried before he
he resurrected him. God said, before I get you out of it, praise me while you in it. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 Dr. Miles Monroe says prayer is man giving God uh, earthly license to interfere. Uh, uh, earthly license to interfere with the earth's affair. Uh, so pray without ceasing so heaven can interfere on earth daily. Do you realize prayer will either change it or it will change you to be able to deal with it? Uh, uh, God says, I want to move in your situation, but you got to send me an invitation. Uh, God says, I'm not, cross, I'm not crashing your party but you have to invite me and let me know you were here. Do you realize that when Hezekiah got 15 years he didn't sit there and waste time but he birthed a son named Manasseh? Okay, you missed your shout. You're looking at me crazy. You, you mean God told him that he was going to die but God knew he was going to give him 15 years because he had to have a son named Manasseh. Uh, uh, come here church, y'all slow but you're worth waiting on. Why, why should I be shouting over Manasseh preacher? The reason why you should shout over Manasseh mm -hmm, is because Manasseh is the great, 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 great grandfather of a man named Jesus. You mean to tell me, had he died, he would have messed up the lineage of Jesus. But the fact that he got 15 more years, he said, I gotta produce something. I wish you would push somebody on the inside of you and say, neighbor, you can't die now. Uh-huh. Because you got something inside of you that's got to come out. Uh, Y'all ain't ready to have church. I need every Hezekiah to push somebody around you and say, prayer, save my life. Uh -huh. I can't die yet. I got more money to make. I can't die yet. I got to lose 20 pounds. I can't die yet. My money's catching up with my vision. I can't die yet. 2016 is the best year of my life. I can't die yet. The glory of the latter house is going to be greater than the glory of the former. Somebody shout, prayer save my life. Would have went back to my ex, but prayer saved my life. Would have shot somebody, but prayer saved my life. Would have been suicidal, but prayer saved my life. Would have been homicidal, but prayer saved my life. I dare you uh, to grab everybody on your row uh, and say, neighbor, uh, the man said, uh, when there are two or three gathered, God will be in the midst. Uh, and whatsoever you bind on, 